Daniel 25. This is off the front of the Jeep. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble it and clean it up. I've got a rebuild kit for it, but I want to get all this cleaned out. I will do the 44 later, but this one needs to get moving. Since I mounted the tires yesterday on the rims, um, I was going to use it to uh, help me move this around, but I had to lift this up onto the pallet instead because I am missing my left hand lug nuts. So I guess uh, just do it this way. I'm going to pull this over. So I'm glad I bought this. But uh, anyway, axle nut. Somebody went at it with a chisel. Right here. Actually, I had to hammer that on because this was so chewed up. Oh, wrong one. This one. Look at this. So, anyway, those will get replaced. And it looks like somebody went at it with a saw here, too. Anyway, I got that off, and the bearing is right in here, and it's just about ready to come on out, so I'm going to pull it out here. No using this. It's full of fuzz, grease, and grime. And when I looked in here, I was like, oh no, it's split. Not that I'm using this hub anymore anyway, but looked in there. That's just straight up grease slung to the side. And on the bearing here, it ain't bad, but it's really, really loose. And a bunch of these little rollers aren't even moving. At least there was grease in it. So, on to the next. I'm gonna pull all that off. I'm gonna take it inside. Ready? Well, I ended up out here last night because it got really dark and I couldn't see. Don't have enough light outside. I ended up dragging this through the house. <laughs> I wonder why I'm single. I don't know. Anyway, um, here, here is what's left of all the bits and pieces. Got everything kind of bagged and tagged. Everything from here over is obviously the short side and the long side here. Um, I do have all new, um, let's see, brick drum stuff. I've got brick drum, uh, spin, uh, not spindle, I'm sorry, but the hub. I did buy new hubs. I don't remember why I did, but I think I was concerned that I wasn't going to be able to get them off of the drums because everything was so rusted. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, hook up my parts washer and get some of this stuff in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and dig into that. A little bit confused. I thought both sides were supposed to be the Bendix but that one was a U-joint in there. I don't know if this is actually supposed to be here or not. So more research continues but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the parts washer anyway and see about getting that clean. I do need to strip down the backing plate on this. I do need that backing plate. And uh, tomorrow I'll work on this side. It's a good thing you can't smell this. This smells so disgusting. I don't like uh, gear oil um, normally, but uh, whew, look at that. I'm going to try wiping some of this out and then uh, see what's going on, but uh, I don't see any chunks missing. I mean, it's straight up. It's like it's not. Everybody pick their nose once in a while. You know what I'm talking about. It's just straight up gross. So, it's really hard to see. But, we'll uh, clean this out a little bit and then uh, check to make sure that these are marked. And then, uh, look at taking the uh, pinion out too. But, uh, here's the um, cover. And I think it had, I don't know what it had in here before, but uh, there's the drain plug there. Um, ok, 
Okay, Dana 25 taking out all of the braces, shims, and I think most of the oil seals, I think I still have to pull those. Uh, but this is full of gunk and like a tar material because it is so old. But uh, I'm going to get it cleaned up. I'm going to scrape wire wheel, everything, clean it all up, and then put some primer on it today. But it's a lot to do. I'll tell you what, getting those wheel bearing, or I'm sorry, not wheel bearing, but the uh, wheel seal out of that bearing cup area was just a pain. I ended up busting this because it wasn't strong enough. I ended up having to get a, a little screwdriver that popped out with the use of a crow's foot crowbar. Um, little spacers there, I'm going to clean those up, clean out the tube. Uh, using a dirty rag right now, I'm going to get another one and run it down the tube to get all that extra grease out because it literally just looks like somebody just packed it full of grease until it was just solid packed grease. About 10.30. Uh, been going at it for a little while, did a lot of scrubbing, did a lot of um, wiping out with uh, those extra microfiber towels that I get from... Uh, Freight. So now I'm just kind of wire wheeling some of the, the rust off. Um, you know, just gonna clean it up the best I can and I'm gonna set it up on the saw horses and go to town with uh, some primer and get this thing kind of looking better than that rust bucket. A little primer on it. I got more painting to do still. Just uh, letting this stuff dry. I'm only gonna do one coat because when this thing is fully assembled, I wanna do another over the top but it's supposed to actually be a like a semi-gloss but it sure looks glossy to me but well practically the whole day out here working on this stuff it's got one coat on i think this has two i'm gonna take a scratch pad i go scotch bright and clean those up later and then i marked my box here of the kingpin so Waiting for this stuff to dry, I'll bring it inside. I don't know if I'm going to set the bearing races today. I guess we'll find out. folks that's all for today uh working on this dana 25 and just fumbling my way through it i've watched a bunch of videos and read a bunch of books and and whatnot so this is my first time um i do have spare bearings so that i can make my uh pinion set bearing uh when i go to set this up later on but anyway check you out another time all right y'all take care bye